Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Breed of Man Studios, and in this video, we're going over getters and setters. So, in the previous video, we went over inheritance. Before that, we went over classes uh, in JavaScript 6. And so, in this one, it's only right to go over getters and setters that are a part of classes. So, uh, they work uh, pretty easily, actually. So, let's just begin. We're going to create a class. We're going to say class... Uh, get things. This is also going to have setters, but we'll just call it get things. So we're going to create a constructor, constructor size. This has no point to this class, just to show getters and setters, that's all we're doing. So this dot length equals size, and we're going to make a getter for the size, so get length return this dot length. So uh, first of all, you do not have to have these as the same name and this one with a capital. This is just a uh, convention I'm doing. Um, so what we're doing is uh, we just type get as a keyword before a function name. Uh, so in this way, it acts as this is a, a getter function. And we do not need to use the parentheses, as we'll see, in order to call this method uh, from outside the class when we have an instance of this uh, class. So to set, you can imagine, it's just set. And it does not have to match up to these two. These are just function names. So I'm going to set. Uh, you can type in whatever you want in here. I'm going to call it val or value. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. It's just a variable. And I'm going to say this dot length. Uh, if I spell it right, length equals value. And I'm also going to do a console.log. Uh, the value has been set. Just to show we do other stuff rather than just assign things instead of a setter. Uh, we'd also print out uh, the value is being set up here if we wanted to in the length. You could do anything you want because this is just a function. So uh, now that we have this, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to jump over to my nightly build, paste it inside and undefined so we have successfully created a class. I'm going to create an instance so var uh, thing equals uh, get our new get things. I'm going to pass in 9 as my value and now I'm going to type in thing dot length. Uh, notice I'm not going to parentheses, put parentheses. You'll see that it gets 9. I'm going to say thing dot uh, length equals uh, we'll say 10 then you see the value has been set and I'm going to say thing dot length again and you'll see that the new value is 10. So those are getters and setters inside of uh, JavaScript. You will notice, fancy fancy, that we have the same exact name and spelling and casing and everything for the get and the set and it still works correctly. So JavaScript 6 knows how to uh, take the same keyword and whenever there's an equal sign, use the set. When there's not, use the get. So you can use the same exact uh, name for the function uh, for getters and setters. You can use different names as well. Uh, that should be said. So uh, that's getters and setters. In the next one, we're going to go over compute methods, which is basically runtime methods where we can create methods via strings uh, for a class at runtime, which is kind of fancy if you are creating runtime classes. Uh, so join me in the next video, and we will be going over that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, in the uh, comment section below. Uh, just let me know uh, if you have any confusion or if something's not working or if you want to see something new. Um, so until next time, I'll talk to you later.